Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm Sarah. And you should go listen to a Swift review, a Tom Swift recap podcast. Sarah and I review weekly episodes of CW's Tom Swift, and we have special interviews lined up for y'all. So go watch the show and then tune into a Swift review. Till next time, Swift Squad. Bye. All right, y'all ready? Yep. Yes, sir. All right, I just counted in. Three, two, one. Welcome back to Underground Nerd Nation. We in here and we just got through with Black Panther Wakanda Forever, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Wakanda Forever. So, of course, we're going to come on here and review it for y'all. Hold on. I got you real quick. <laughs> come here. Come here, Maya. Hey, you That's about that complexion. <laughs> Boy, I thought there was going to be Power Ranger coins pop out of nowhere, man. <laughs> I thought Dragon Ball instantly. I was looking at it, was like all these Hadokens going out all over the uh, as greetings. Just the best. That's the best greeting ever we've seen. <laughs> yeah, they. Now everybody gonna start doing that. <laughs> we gonna be walking around malls. Just... Bro, say I won't. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll walk up at a gas station. Be like, yo, let me get pump on. Let me get ten on five. <laughs> Then that's how you present the money to ten on five, bro. <laughs> but anyway, before we get too far, y'all, I'm Keston, aka DJ Nexus. I'm Camden, aka the Prince of Wakanda. Yeah. I'm Adrian. You said there was no light skin in that movie, right? No light skin people in that movie. All dark skin. You mean you don't belong there, Ken? Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Wait a minute. Now, <laughs> I got a pass because Namor was Hispanic, so. <laughs> Sorry, Cam, you out. <laughs> yeah, you out for real, for real. You oh, see one light skin there. Okay. okay. We got jokes. I'm glad we can see you now, Dash. Past few videos been kind of dark. I mean, I'm going to test up. I'm going to fix lighting. Uh, Nobody yeah, told I, me this. That's that's why I said it in the text. Like, hey, get a light. No, <laughs> that, Dash like, need that vibranium, son. <laughs> but, vibranium, son, really? <laughs> I be stupid boy. Look, got the money right there. I'm about to flip that money quick. <laughs> so, uh, do y'all want to start off with the scores? Hold up, I got you. Spoilers, oh, massive oh, yeah. spoilers. Spoiler warning. Good thing. Almost forgot. I was just ready to get into it because I thought yeah, the movie spoiler was spoiler warning. All right, so you just want to jump into ratings, or are we just going to talk about it? Let's hit the ratings and go from there. Yeah. Go ahead, Kath. So I gave it a 9.5. Why? Well, there were, there was like a couple little things in it. I was like, eh, that didn't really need to happen. But I'll get to that later. Okay. Adrian? I'm going to say none. I'm going to give it a none. Oh, dang, the dang, same dang, thing. What's that? <laughs> Why you made that face? I know, right? He's breathing heavy. <laughs> yeah, he did. Same reason? Same reason. There was just certain little things that weren't perfect to like the whole rest of the movie. Like the whole rest of the movie was a masterpiece. But just certain little things took away from that for me personally. I also give it a nine. There was some stuff I thought they could have proved on a little bit better. I'm with you. They they did really good with it. The tribute was really good. It was just small stuff they could have improved better to it. So I definitely give it a nine too. I gave it a nine seven. Nine seven. Uh, yeah. You want to be different, light skin people. That's why you don't walk to Ireland. Right there, <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> I give it a nice because man, they hit on 
you know, it it had a lot to feel, you know, especially with the passing of Chadwick and stuff. And I think the direction they went with, they they did it properly and to the point to where like they they gave us that memorial of him, of his memory, but they also was able to move on from it. Mm-hmm. And I mean, the, the little things that I had a problem with was the agent stuff, which I, I understand why they put it in there because of Madam Hydra, but it was kind of just like thrown in there. But Killer. the direction, I gave it so high because of what they did with Namor, or as they say in the movie, Namor, because it is completely different from the comics. And the direction is, they basically rewrote Namor. And this is basically going to, is like the perfect version of the Namor now. Like, it's almost. At least, at least for it's, the cinematic universe, that's a perfect version. I, if, if they don't transition this cinematic one to the, to the comics with the Mesopotamian type background and. Instead that, of being that, from that, Atlantis. That, exactly. If they don't bring Tyler Khan into the comics and stuff, then, I mean, they're doing themselves a disservice because that is perfect. It's beautiful. Even though Namor was before Aquaman, <laughs> they could have Atlantis in there, but they wanted to go a completely different route because of the Aquaman movie. And I think the, di- the direction they went, oh, spot on. Spot. Yeah. Namor is such a badass, but I want to get into that later. <laughs> I was about to say, Ryan Coogler, he did his thing with this movie. Yeah, he did. Like, I was, I was worried for him because I had with passing so suddenly at that. Like, and it, it just threw like a monkey wrench in all the plans. And I say that was like the only thing because like he was, he was friends with Chadwick and all that other stuff. So I know that was way heavy on him too. So he wanted to do it justice, but he, he did that movie justice. To his credit, shout out, shout out to him. Absolutely, to his credit, and this is what made the movie so good. The movie didn't feel like they moved away from Chadwick because he passed away. The movie felt like they wrote his character out purposely. Like if Cat, if if Chadwick hadn't have passed away, this story still would have worked. Yeah, and yeah. that's something that I think was really special because other movies haven't been able to pull that off when stars pass away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you still, you still, you still thought he was in the movie, even though he wasn't in the movie. This was the memory. Exactly. Kind of stuff. So it's kind of like you have a you have a big imprint on it, and I also like the fact of when the actors were acting, they were acting, but I don't think they were acting. I think that was like oh, really emotional. Like you could tell it really like hit them because they realized without him, this movie wouldn't be what it is. Like he's literally like the man for the movie. And nobody, I think, would be where they're at because of him. So the fact that they were able still to embrace that and still have him play his part, and even like when the beginning, when like when the credit scenes went in there, or the beginning credits, and like you see his life and all that, like I do like the way how they tied it all in there. I thought that was pretty cool with, with the silent movie. intro. Yeah, like that yeah. hit, yeah. dude. That, that, that hit that hit so different, so hard, man. Especially being in the theater. Yep. Yeah, sitting there and you're just that moment of silence. And it just showed the, um, the opening scene where it's like the black screen and you hear her praying to the ancestors to save her brother. And then you see her like frantically trying to figure out this genetic code to, to save T'Challa. Mm-hmm. And then, because like Adrian was saying, the way they wrote it to where you don't see Chadwick at all, but it felt like he was there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like her her rushing to try to get this antidote to him. And then as soon as she figures something out, just something to try, you see her mother walking into the lab to say, Yeah, he's gone. And so she didn't even get to try. I was like, that was great. Well, his death that was, it, that was the perfect way to send him off. And, mm-hmm. and it's like his death is what set everything in motion. Yeah. Like, it set everything in motion. Like, it had so much implications of his death and for the status and how Wakanda is now and how Shuri, her whole path (laughs) to where she finally leads up to finally becoming the mantle of it, even though, I mean, it was just so much. And you just felt the loss. It was heavy. 
Yeah. I cried. <laughs> that I, love, I cried. I love I love the queen because she was so badass in the very beginning when um they had the, the board meeting with all like all the high people and they were like, Yeah, we should should have brought Brady with us. <laughs> you said board like, well, why yeah, some kind of board some kind of meeting they had there. Yeah, board meeting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. United Nations. <laughs> Same thing. Same the meeting thing. of the nations. Oh, it's a board meeting. That's, oh, this that's stuff what it look. This is a board, board meeting. meeting. It's, a, it's go- still important. <laughs> who gets the, who gets teacher of the month this week? Are we passing out bonuses? Who gets this that year? parking spot? Who get the bonuses? <laughs> but uh, they were no like, more, yeah, no yeah, more grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> no more grilled cheese Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're like, I'm sorry, guys. Good to you. They're like, that was just threw me off. Like they was at the board meeting. That was sorry, that was threw me off. Go ahead, though. <laughs> <laughs> it still works. <laughs> but no, it's the fact that you know they tried to like have them like trying to be forceful about getting getting their stuff. She's telling like, why we did that. We don't trust y'all. And then, what are you talking about? And then you think that their own CIA agent is trying to infiltrate the area, and then she already has the people there. It's kind of like, well, this is why we can't trust y'all because y'all literally just trying to break in while we're having a meeting right now. And she brings everybody, and I was like, fucking badass. You already knew what they were doing, and you used their own tactics against them. I was, was about to say that that literally was the most gangster thing I had seen through that whole movie. Mm-hmm. If Angela, the, the Bassett- fact that she sat down so calmly too, like it was, and then the first thing out their mouth is like, we want some of the. Uh, some of the vibranium that y'all have. We want some of your resources, which very heavy colonizer type shit. Right. Like off the rip. Like y'all going straight into for the colonizing type stuff. Okay. And then she was like, we hear what you whisper in your boardrooms and in your uh in your military Board compounds. Board meetings. <laughs> and she was like, we know that you think just because black the Black Panther isn't here that we are unable to protect ourselves. And then the custom scene with the them trying to infiltrate the the base and the, the door Melage are they waiting and whoop they ass. <laughs> they come in there with guns and all they got is vibranium spirits and they whoop they ass. Door Milaje. Not to be messed with, boy. Not to be messed with. And then walk walk them in and made them kneel in front of their own <laughs> leader. That is the most gangster thing I had ever seen. Yo, if Angela Bassett doesn't get nominated for an Oscar for her performance, like I'm just it's she's just, always amazing. It's, but this performance, God, it was powerful. Well, I think powerful. everybody's performance, because I think everybody was emotional about this one. And that's yeah, what I was she, expecting. I mean, Angela Bassett, uh, Shuri, um, Oh, I'm forgetting the woman's name. I know her real name is Lapita, but I can't think of her name in the in the movie. Is this a, Akia? Like... Okoye? No. No. You talking about you talking about uh the girl from Haiti that, that yeah. infiltrated Talocon and which was so gangster. I was like, Yeah, this the way she infiltrated Nakia. Yeah. Like, she was like, I was like, I can only ask you, you're the best of the best. She was like, Damn. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's what she was good at. She had been yeah. she had been a spy for so long, like them skills don't just die. She Bro, figured it she, out. She, figured... she knew ancient Mayan language. I was like, how in the hell? <laughs> all I got I to say she... is shout out to the cameraman. That's all I got to say. Cause he was catching <laughs> some some angles. And I was like, silhouette. interesting. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hmm, that's a that's an interesting take on this scene. But I'm, I'm, yeah. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he. he, I, think, he I think I know which one you're talking about. Oh, there was because more than was multiple. Me. There was multiple. Yeah, there was a lot actually. I was, <laughs> was the cameraman knew the assignment. <laughs> that man was on the assignment. <laughs> Definitely shout out to the co- off, shout out to the costume designer too because. Mm, <laughs> the trip, how about the trip for Iron Man though? How they how they slid it in there? When the old you girl the suit was the tribute for Iron Man when the old girl's suit looked like Iron Man because the guard was he was like, oh shit it's Iron Man suit. When <laughs> they went to go get the uh, when they oh, went to go get the, the scientist, yeah. yeah, 
Yeah, that cop freaked out. He's like, oh, shit, she got an Iron Man suit. <laughs> Blast him. I was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> then you hear she the pulsar sound roof. go off. <laughs> but see, that's the, but Ironheart is like the, like the, the, the prodigy to, uh, um, Tony basic, Stark. Man, yeah. Yeah, she, she takes up Which, that I mean, mantle To almost. be honest, to be honest, her, her come up is pretty much the same as Tony Stark. She went to MIT, she built, uh, a rough version for the first one that she builds a better one for the second one. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, I, similar. They're setting I mean, up, they could be setting up something interesting here. Cause Camden, you probably know this. I was reading about this earlier, but apparently there is a comic book storyline called doom war. And apparently doom war T'Challa and the midnight angels team up with Deadpool to fight Dr. Doom because mm. he stole their vibranium. Now, how would Dr. Doom know where vibranium was unless he had tech that Riri Williams had to find it? So this could be setting up some type of advanced Doom War situation because obviously I mean, they're yeah. come back as well. Well, it's interesting because when they brought in Riri Williams, you know, because everybody knows that this next phase, Ironheart's getting her own series on Netflix. I mean, uh, on a uh, Disney. Disney Plus. Oh, is she? Yeah. Like yeah, she's, yeah, getting, she's getting the, her own uh, series. You didn't see the Iron when they when they put up like the I think it was I think it's for Phase Five, right? That's when she gets her series. Yes, yeah, Phase Five. Yeah, this next phase yeah. coming up. I've been seeing so many different phase phases six. stuff that's been popping up. I can't keep up. Every other day, a different phase of coming up. I've well, seen other movies. She's getting her own. She's getting her own series, and yeah. her character in the movie. This is when she was supposed to make her appearance. I'm pretty interested to see that direction, and if it does lead Doom into this series, into the because I'm telling you, Doom's gonna come out of nowhere and gonna slap everybody in the fucking face. It's gonna happen. He's gonna have to. Like it's gonna happen, and it's gonna and it's gonna shock the world. <laughs> It's, now, one so, thing I'm surprised you didn't mention, Cam, is the fact that that he actually called himself a mutant. Oh, no, no, no. I, 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 I was waiting till we was going to talk about Namor. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I was about to say, I've been sitting here waiting for you to say that for like the past, since we started. Oh, I'm like, I can't I've believe this man ain't mentioned that. <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just waiting till we talk about Namor. Okay. Do I feel like the movie was three hours long? Did it feel three hours long to you? It didn't. <laughs> Not it really did. Yeah. Compared to Batman, that shit felt forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Batman, it just kept running. I was say Bat Batman was a slow burn though. Like I still say Batman was good, but it was definitely a slow that was burn. Great. <laughs> I was, I was but like, this one, but this one, black the Wakanda felt like an emotional roller coaster, like the whole time, the whole time, like, like from the beginning to end. You like, oh. What? God damn. I have to do the whole movie. Dude, that shit was on hydraulics. <laughs> like, they were hitting them switches the whole movie, oh, bro. The, the whole, whole, whole movie. movie. One I'm moment I'm work. crying. Next minute I'm laughing. Next minute I'm like, ooh. The next minute I'm crying again. I'm like, yo, stop. Yo, I'm going to tell you when I was about crying, bro. When Mbaku came in and called Oak Girl a bald-headed witch. I was like, bro, you don't have to do that to her. Why you do that to her? <laughs> no, he called her. He called her a bald headed demon. <laughs> but either way, the way he said it, bro, I was rolling, bro. He had to roll it. <laughs> now, what and I know even is... Shuri got in on it. Oh, go ahead, Dash. What I want to know is the the in the very beginning, the Asian lady or not Asian lady, the the agent lady, the detective lady that was there that was uh, supposedly died on a helicopter. That was her that was, I guess, that was working with the agent guy earlier, right? Wasn't that the same person? That lady? Oh, you talking about when they were on the uh, on the rig? Out in the middle yeah, of the ocean? Like, yeah, like she, like, apparently when that helicopter died, that was her, right? That died or was she still alive? I'm not. No, oh, that girl, no, she did. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. Of them, no. All okay. of them died. They had, that was, they had something, that, okay, they had thing, something like, the same. I was like, wait, is that her? Did she, did she survive the helicopter crash? Hold up, you talking about when the, the girl that showed up on the bridge? 
The one no, where, the one yeah. Shooting. Yeah, the one that was shooting. Oh, no, yeah, I'm yeah, talking you know. about the one that was shooting that got on the helicopter. But are you saying she looked like the girl that was on the bridge? The one with the purple yeah, the, streak in her hair? Yes, yeah. That was, that was two different people, right? No, that's yeah, way that too. No, the one. Yeah, but the one people. the one that was on the bridge, she was in like she's been in some of the series, like she was oh, in the okay. uh, Captain America series. Oh, yeah, she's okay. uh, that's and she was at the end of Black Widow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. she looked Philip. I was like, dang, no, that can't be her. But I was, no, nah, Val I, is I, a problem. Was, yeah, Val is a major problem. <laughs> Which uh, okay. Ah, uh, we'll get to that later. So, I want to hit like my little dislikes before we go into how amazing the movie really is okay so one of the things that i disliked was there was a scene near the end of the movie right triumphant battle and we getting waxed over here like hardcore we got our backs against no wall we we about to be in the water and iron heart is just chilling and i'm like yo you got a whole <laughs> iron man suit why are you, you just, just waving your arms back and forth <laughs> <laughs> like what you was just taking out all types of people on top why are you just standing there do something <laughs> anything really i thought she could have been doing something my complaint was the i guess the generals i feel like they i should have felt like their fights should have been better like they talked so much smack and they didn't really do anything oh obviously oh dude oh dude over got that rematch from the first time on the bridge what happened to the princess lady? Or I don't know if she was a princess lady, but wherever she was, she didn't do nothing but talk shit the whole time. Like, oh, we're so weak. We shouldn't give up. All you did was fucking blow up a boat. That was it. The whole movie. So I thought she could have did more for what she did. That was kind of, that was my, kind of disappointing. My issue was those goddamn water balloons they kept throwing. Like, oh, the water grenades. balloons. Was insane. Was yeah, they were. And shit. Cause see, I thought the halo. This is, this is really why I lost the point with me. Because... He called a water balloon? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Look, can anybody explain why them, why them water grenades were so powerful? Because they, they didn't explain no like, more. any magic, any magic like properties to it. Like, Namor was a mutant, so... But there, there, there's, there's no... There's no indication to why that powerful. I'll tell you what really threw me off. When Namor tried to stab the window, and it only cracked a little bit. Now that's a that's a vibranium spear, and the window only cracked a little bit. But he throw these water balloons at it, and it blows up the whole every window on that side, and okay. fills it up with water like a tidal wave. And I'm like, but <laughs> he also has. Vibranium, like I, you just have to assume that this dude also has the ability since he's been alive and on the planet for over 500 years that he's probably come across some type of tech in his day and brought it back to dude. What was I it? Kalukaton like, underwater, yeah. It this dude got mad underwater. tech. No, like, I, and I get that, but what I'm talking about is too. the fact, no, I, I get that, but what I'm, I, I'm assuming that there's just magic involved, but what I'm talking about is the fact that. The this vibranium spear. You know how strong vibranium Water is. Balloons. <laughs> you know how strong vibranium is, and it left a little crack on that window. When he was I just to... assume everything in Wakanda and everything that came out of the ocean was made out of vibranium <laughs> at that point because everybody's got vibranium. <laughs> okay, but that's what I'm saying. So if if the window was made out of vibranium in some way, like they found a way to create clear vibranium. The spear only cracks it a little bit, but these water balloons <laughs> blow the whole window out. Yeah. So if they are that, like, let's assume that the window is uh by and they are that powerful. When they threw one of those uh grenades under the car, Shuri and uh old girl should be dead. Shuri was on a dirt bike, and she got caught in the blast radius. They should both be dead. Like no question. Wait, True. Didn't she'll help her. That's why she's a shield, right? To kind of help break the fall. She's a shield to catch herself from falling, but not from the grenade. They didn't see the grenade. Well, them water grenades were something serious, though. <laughs> but that's oh, what I'm saying. Like the power scale of these grenades didn't make sense to me because, like, like I said, from that end 
It blew up the car because that's the first time we see the power of the grenades. They blew up the car, flipped the car, knocked Shuri off her bike. Then we see it used on this window and the window that a vibranium spear couldn't destroy. So it's like, where do these things scale at? <laughs> hey, you know the power I mean? of the ocean plus vibranium <laughs> equals death. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But that's the thing. It should have killed. It should have killed Shuri. And if it was that powerful to to break that window like it did, but the spear didn't, it should have killed Shuri. And uh, now, her, see, you're. It, I I like the path you're on, but see, we got problems before then, though. So you talking about when they used the water balloon to blow up the car? But how about when she pierced the gas tank? Clearly, pierced the gas tank. There's there's a gas tank between the bottom of the trunk and the back of the seat. When she stabbed through that car so that she <laughs> could turn around on the spear the car would have run out of gas or exploded there was mad sparks everywhere but yet she continued to withdraw the spear and drive down the road and get blown up by a water balloon yeah i didn't think about that that, that, that yeah. is actually a good point Probably, oh point no, I, the <laughs> I just i don't even know <laughs> It was the fact that, that was you're ridiculous. trying to bring in logic into a movie about taking heart shaped flowers that give you superpowers and shit, and you're bringing in logic. They could have escaped. Cars. They could have escaped in anything else. That was a Plymouth Hemicuda, bruh. They and they made a point to bring the car back at the end of the movie. It then I have to assume that they know something about cars. There's a gas tank in that area where that spirit went through. I'm convinced of that. Shuri literally built a, a high mechanism suit for a Koye in them. The old Midnight Suns. Yo, I'm, I'm glad they brought them in. That's badass, by the way. I mean, you mentioned, you mentioned being sad. I felt bad when old girl got shipped for her title. People's like, the people was Ooh, like, Oh, yeah, that huh, hurt. You're a no more general. That's fair. That looks like me. Good. Good thing since day one for you. She was like, oh, you a fuck. I lost everything. Should I care now? I said, oh. Well, but yo, she had a point, true. though. She, she did. did have a point, Mugs though. Oh. Size when Killmonger took over. It was like, yeah, oh, man. he's the king. I was like, mm. <laughs> when, she, <laughs> when she brought that up, I was like, mm, I ain't got nothing for that. That, that shit, that shit comes full first, circle. She... <laughs> it comes full circle. Yeah. I lost, I lost my son and my daughter. You think I care now? No, but no, yeah, I just I she 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 lost. She's literally everybody. Her husband, yeah. her son, and her daughter is gone. Like she yeah. literally lost the whole family trying to run a country. I I can't say I was mad at. Her. Like I might have did the same thing in that case. Everybody was like, "No, be be nice to her." She's like, "Fuck that." <laughs> I don't give a shit no more. Yeah, and, and I like Bassett was a gangster in this movie. Yeah. Oh, like, she uh, gave movie, zero fucks. <laughs> yeah, a lot of it was more about revenge. I think I think that's a different twist. Like everybody just wanted revenge for what everybody went through. But that's what I was... Kesson. Kesson. What's wrong his eyes? Oh no! Are we gonna lag on the? <laughs> if it cuts out, cut the commercial. Are you there? Do you have? Do you do you have itches and spots that you don't see? Somebody unplug him and plug him back in. I was about to say I lost y'all for a second. Oh, he's back! Oh, he's back! Y'all froze on my screen, so I guess it. Yeah, you lagging, cuz. Yeah, we say we're eyes still like, Oh shit. No, I'm, you're not lagging now, but you was. Like you lagged out. I always seen was forehead. I saw, I saw closed eyes. I was like, oh no, he died. <laughs> he got hit with a spear. Jeez. He got hit with a water balloon. <laughs> God dang. <laughs> oh, man. No, that hurt my feelings. I almost okay. cried when old, when old lady was crying. I was like, damn, not the title. Not the spear. She did that spear hard on the ground. Hmm. I was like, oh, well. So let me ask a question, because, again, I don't know much about Namor. So how far does his telepathy power go? 
because I'm pretty sure he doesn't have the ability to talk to fish and sea creatures the way Aquaman does, right? No, he could control them. He can control them. If I'm not mistaken, he okay. He has that ability to, I guess, contact them or communicate with them. Because I'm gonna tell it's, you, pretty much, really used telepathy. I mean, of course, he had the the and stuff delivering his army all over the place. But no, I mean, like the the when whatever that siren was that was causing people to like yeah, walk straight on. off the edge of the boat. Real quick, uh, yeah. let me talk about that real quick. That was OP as hell. <laughs> Yo, I <laughs> like he first, just neutralized the, the whole first threat. Time they used that shit. That was the most unsettling scene out of that. <laughs> the fact that first, because first the first head popped up out the water, and you saw the dude like looking at it, and then you start hearing it a little bit, like it's just a faint like sound song coming through, and then them them other heads pop up like in uniform, and then the sound got louder. Bro, my skin crawled. Like, like legit unsettled. I was like, bro, that would have scared the shit out. If I was bro, in that I movie, love... I would have heard that. Because she was like, what's the sound? Like, let's go investigate. <laughs> nah, I heard a sound that I haven't heard on the ocean before. Lock the damn door and we can <laughs> right. <stand> put. <laughs> Shut it down. Shut it all down. <laughs> it, I don't know. It wouldn't matter how it looks like it. Look. <laughs> Oh, dude was like, what he trying to save a dude from getting off the boat? Man, he got stabbed with a spear. I said, oh, shit, that nigga dead as fuck. Oh, man. Man, I would tell you who I felt bad for was the woman that was under the ocean in a little diver suit. And they was like, oh, turn around and see if you can see him. And she was like, I can't see him. The hoses were floating there. And her heart started started beating. (laughs) Yeah, her heart started beating. They was like, oh, get me out. I was like, oh, get her out. And then it was too late. I was like, no. There's nothing you can do at that point in time. You should eat. The Talacons <laughs> are ruthless, mm. ruthless. God, I, that's my favorite part of the movie is Namor and the Talacons. I thought, oh, they were done so well. Jesus, Lord. Oh, yeah, now they was a problem. Now, I will say the only thing I was curious about, which is another reason why I kind of took it down to 9.5, is like, as intelligent as the Wakandans are, ain't nobody thought to just, like, cut their mouth you know, pop the little water balloon cover in their mouth. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, obviously they got these masks on so they can breathe because they can't breathe on land. You didn't just say, huh, let me just poke. Bro, can I tell oh, you are we hardest... taking down with a toothpick? <laughs> can I tell you the hardest <laughs> line saying. in that movie, though? Boy. When Namor first appeared to King Ramada, Queen Ramada, and Shuri, and said, I got more soldiers than you got blades of grass. I was like, oh my God. I said, yeah, that's, well, that's terrifying. That's, that's a threat. That, that that's is a, a major stupid threat. threat. Ne- oh, Pete, Whenever that like, dude would get up in your face and speak, yo, that dude put chills to me. When he said, but my enemies call me no more, I was like, oh, he got a whole yo, list of names, but he, his enemies collectively call him one name? Okay, he's a problem. <laughs> he's a legend. Like, you know, be that unbothered by somebody who's potentially your enemy. Because you you realize every time he talked to people that could, like, was possibly his enemy, he, like, got in their face and talked to them like they was his child or something. Like, Dude, he, he, <laughs> right. was, he was like, yo, we are for real. Don't play with us. Like, he was talking to the queen of Wakanda, like Wakanda, the most powerful nation. He was like, yo, we'll we'll come up here and straight trash you, <laughs> give you business. And hey. he did. When, when they went to the island, man, and started killing this, she was like, oh, what's all this water coming from? Oh, shit. Explosion. <laughs> Death. The oh, water. Oh, no, it was a tsunami. Everybody's dying. Yeah, that, I love how she knew problem. instantly. It's... Oh. It, she knew instantly as soon as there was water on the ground. She was like, "We're under." And before she could even say "attack," water balloon. <laughs> I was like, "Oh lord, <laughs> we flooding Wakanda." Dude, yo, about twenty twelve all over again. The shit in the world. Yeah, and so it's it's crazy because they made Namor and he. Th- okay, let's just get into it, Keston. He said mutant. I almost screamed <laughs> theater. Like dead ass. I was like, oh, finally. You know, this is tw- this is twice. This is twice. 
fully acknowledged right. now. Fully acknowledged. Yeah, you know the it, moments it's embedded you, now. You know the moments where like something happens and you sitting down and like your butt cheeks clench, so you like <laughs> pop up a little bit, like just just an inch. I had one of the moments when he said when he like officially said, "I'm a mutant." I was like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, they said it. Oh, snap, it's on. You know what? So <laughs> it is on now. So it's crazy because now they're considering him like one of the first mutants. Like he is literally considered like one of the first mutants now. But it's crazy that uh how strong Namor is. Apparently he's he can bang with the Hulk and strength. Like the dude. Hey. Stupid I don't know. Strong. I was about to say, no, girl, when girl, when, no I'm saying when old girl took his his wing off and beat him like on Troy, hit him with the Achilles. <laughs> he, he said, well, she dried oh, him up. No. She dried him up. When that man caught Umbaku off guard, that dude came down yeah. with the club and it broke on that dude's arm. And he turned around, <laughs> hit him with the Mm, to the gut. He should have died. I thought he should have died. Then. That was point deduction. <laughs> Nigga, that there's dude, no way he hit you like that. He hit Mbaku dead in his chest, boy. <laughs> that dude scream had to catch up with his breath. He sat there and said, <gasps> <laughs> "Yeah." And I know, I know, he was a comic relief. You had to keep him in there. And I guess after the movie, he's like, I guess the trial, you got to go through him. But he should have died that hit. That's there's no way he survived that hit. That he nigga, that was. It. I'm Your not gonna say stopped. he should have died. No, he should die. And he got back no. up. <laughs> he, he shouldn't have got back up and kept fighting like. Nigga, nah, his like heart, it was just a good chick. His heart should have stopped. That nigga hit the yeah. right heart. Nigga. Done. I, I agree with Dash. Coming. Like he, he hit that man dead in his chest. I'm talking about he, I've his seen, shit should have been caved. I've seen Batman put somebody in cardiac arrest with one punch. And yeah, Batman's exactly. human. Exactly. Exactly. Nigga, he should This dude's a whole ass done. mutant yeah. with the strength of the Hulk. <laughs> like yeah. and the fact and the fact he, is he didn't there was no tension. He was like off guard because he was he was shocked that Odin did that. That's even worse of a damage. If you expect it, it's different. He didn't expect to get hit like that. Mark should have stopped. Point deduction. Um, <laughs> yeah, he should have. He should have had. He should have had a bowl in his chest. Like he could have ate Jello out that shit. The way he hit. That there shouldn't have so been hard. no chest anymore. It should have been a hole there. I'm basing it off the fact that his armor stopped some of it. That's the no only fuck thing. that. He got hit like Vegeta. That same crack in the chest. <laughs> he should. Yeah. Nope. I ain't give it to you. Point deduction. I think he should have died. I was just saying, nigga, that's I, just, I, I stopped breathing. I, nigga. I died I, when he hit me. I saw <laughs> the armor crack, and I was like, okay, maybe that's what stopped his heart from he's me. A, no, he's a god. Um, if a god hits you in the chest like that, nigga, you don't survive that. <laughs> now I'm trying to figure out why they always need Umbaku for backup, but apparently they don't think highly enough of him to like give him vibranium armor. Like everybody else got vibranium armor in exactly. Wakanda. But this dude got like coconut armor. Why this See? dude do his stuff like that? Did you say coconut armor? Oh my coconut God. armor. That stuff broke like peanut brittle, bro. Like he punched through that way too easy. I told you. Yeah. Part should have stopped. <laughs> hey, can we talk about how my man was literally like running in the air? How he was jumping it. Ooh, I thought parkour, that parkour. What are you talking about? I here thought that the, shit. <laughs> the mid-air jukes. <laughs> Dude, that was, shit was, was so bad. Kicking badass. one way, kicking the other way. I was like, yo, this dude's moving to the air like it. <laughs> like he on skis. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Like, like he was like, on this skis. Man got, he, like that man got church shoes on. He got <laughs> this guy doing it. Our technology yeah, that Wakanda no. has, though, is crazy, though. Like, I feel like every time we revisit, they got more and more crazy technology. I was like, yeah, they got camouflage and so I can fly this and that and fucking armor type of armor. I'm very okay. So has there always been a group of dudes that have to drum to get the 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 gates to open at Wakanda? Because I, I ain't never, never seen, seen that. that before. That's new. That shit was crazy though. That water, that water said. <laughs> oh shit! I said, boy, we got gate opening water drums. I'm like, okay, but Wakanda different. Guessing you froze again. <laughs> I thought he had the good him. internet. I thought he did too. Oh, oh, oh Lord. Wait, how are we like still in here? Oh, you got hit wait. with the chest. <laughs> you got chest hit. You got hit with the Namor punch, boy. 
Hey, boy, it's still recording. How he get punched out the podcast? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and they're cooking the oil. I'm not cooking the oil. They're cooking the oil. Boy, you got that coconut oil on his chip? <laughs> All right. That's it. <laughs> I don't know. Something must be wrong with my internet. I don't know why it's acting up now. This is going to be the choppiest podcast ever. Where did it go? Oh, of, course, screen. of course it would happen. Hey, it's not my fault, though. Of... <laughs> <laughs> happen when we're talking about an important movie. Oh, man. Kesson got that at Camden uh, two months ago internet. I don't know what is wrong. That, <laughs> this is weird. I've never the had an act of like this before. <laughs> how about All that? Right, so how about when go ahead, Dash. Came back? When Kilmore came out, oh, I was just about to say that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Kilmore. Oh. Yo, when she the went plane. to the ancestral plane and saw Kill, she was calling for her mama and everybody. Kilmore there. He was like, nah, we the same. I was like, oh, snap. That man said, what up, cuz? I was like, I was like I yo. He was that so dude had the, the ancestral plane drip. That dude was sitting on that chair like God dang Black Adam. <laughs> he just all sprawled out. <laughs> he said, nothing like you. Oh, yeah, you are. Of course you are. You anger. You mad. Why do you think I'm here? Revenge. And I was like, yeah, you've been angry the whole movie. Well, I got I got to say, I kind of saw that coming, though, because I. There was a couple YouTubers I was watching was predicting that Killmonger was going to be the one she was going to see at the ancestral plane because her suit had that gold accents on it like his was. Mm -hmm. uh, that makes sense. It kind of was like, that. it was kind of like, yeah, they believe that when she goes to the ancestral plane, because of course they was like, she's going to figure out how to get the flower back to get the back. And once she does, she's going to see Killmonger. She's not going to see T'Challa. Well, obviously not T'Challa, but she's not going to see anybody else other than Killmonger. Well, I thought I, like, I thought it was gonna be the Queen. I thought it was really gonna be her. I don't know. I mean, that makes sense what you're saying. But I knew it would be. I see, knew it would have been uh, the original. But I thought it'd be the Queen. She would see the kind of remind. Her. Well, she still did, but later. Yeah. Question. So she synthesized this this flower. Only mm -hmm. the Black Panther can drink it. Give that shit to everybody, <laughs> so everybody can have the power of the Black Panther. Ain't nobody gonna mess with you then. Like, come on, yo. Hey, Ironheart like, was like, "Let me get some." <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> you like pour thinking, me up, cuz. Yo, it did not, thinking, it did not look like, good though. I, I bet like, it's horrible. Give me a cup. Give me a cup. Give me powers. I, I, I bet well, it's that horrible. Sip, sip, pass, boy. You got share does. that. You know, it might taste like shit, but the after effects are going to be fabulous. <sighs> I was about to say, I just I mean, saw her punch that dummy into the wall like that. Well, <laughs> Kevin, that you won't. You won't be there, man. Like, get people aren't there, so you won't have that. Bitch, I I will be in the fucking. <laughs> I'll be a slave. Oh, okay. <laughs> you gonna be a nah? He could be. In the field. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'll be. I'll be the water drummer. <laughs> I'll be goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want me to open this gate? Come on in. So you're going to be the equivalent of a Walmart greeter for Wakanda? That's going to be you? <laughs> Welcome to Wakanda. <laughs> Have a Welcome nice visit. Make, make sure you take off your shoes when you get to the door. <laughs> <laughs> I still agree the fight scene on the very end could have been a little bit longer, though. I felt it ended a little bit too quickly. It was a little bit too easy. Yeah, it was I mean, rushed. I, I, I understand, like, the heat drives them out. I understand that. But I just feel like that was a cheap way. Like, you dry them out. He gets out. You probably live in the island. That's it. Well, I, so I believe I that's like comics, though. I believe that, that's a part of like the comic lore that his he draws oxygen in through his skin. Like he he gets his power from being in the water. Like mm -hmm. if he's out the water for too long, he loses power. Like he, like function as a human, but as far as his super strength is, he loses all yeah, that. The dude they hit on that in the struggle. movie a little bit, though. Like when they were in that Wakanda fight scene. When he's fighting outside the water, right, he dives below the water to wait until the ship is flying over him. And then he, like, catapults out of the water with extreme force, enough to be able to attack the ship. And, like, I somewhere I was reading that basically, yes, like, when he's outside the water, he has a completely different power ability than he does if he's in or around water. Like, water definitely increases his power. 
I just feel like that's how my man was Gensu and all them airships around, like just slicing through wings like it ain't nothing, like it was butter. Bro, Every- he was, a, boy, he's a problem, and he's he gonna be a nice a ally. Problem. Yeah, <laughs> man, you he's knew he was a nice problem ally. in the first part of the movie when you first see this man and he throws that helicopter in the water with ease. He just grabs onto him. And he's like, mm, yeah. <laughs> mm. I was like, oh, why you do that? <laughs> That's so bad. Oh, but I you just know love what? That. Oh, go ahead, Gary. Oh, I was gonna say, I just love it how he's so adamant on like, like he's he's about protecting his people. Yeah, and he he'll kill to do so. He was gonna yeah. kill a kid, basically save his people. Yeah. And I'm like, and what was bad is like she, she really had no idea that her invention was doing that. Mm -hmm. It was cool. She was like, they showed up. They showed up. It was like, why are you inventing vibranium detectors for the government? She was like, what? That was a school project. (laughs) And you're sitting here like a school project. Yeah, like a school, a school project. Yeah, it's like y'all doing stuff like that out here. I like he was a bad guy, but wasn't a bad guy. Like it's kind of like if. Humans like us didn't mess up things. He wanted to keep it to himself, but he had no choice to help them. So he had to do, he had to do what he had to do to help his people. Because we don't act right. We always try to take over stuff and do things and have power over people. If you really think about it, we kept trying. If they didn't worry about the vibranium, he would have kept himself. Even though like the people destroyed his village in the very beginning, all that good stuff. You go to the future time. If you leave the barbarian alone, then you have to worry about them. But once you go into other people's territories and they got to fight. So, I mean, his his reason was justified. Like when he was telling the um, princess, he was like, look, I don't want to do this. Believe me. But I got to. Because as soon as they get vibranium, they're going to come attack us. And I'm not going to have anything. So I got to stop this now before it starts. And she, it's, cause even she was like, I feel where you're coming from. Like, I understand your logic. It doesn't make it right. But I understand that why you feel the way you feel. I was like, damn, so you're a good guy, but you're a bad guy. Fuck. I like, it was crazy. I thought but that's that's comic, though. Yeah. I thought the whole little thing between him and Shuri, I was like, okay, they're about to have a little love scene. And then it got to the end, was like, so I need to kill the kid still. I'm like, yo, what was the whole point of that? Like, <laughs> I, I, think, I think he's about to get the draws. I said, oh, he's about to get the draws? <laughs> that went that went south fast. He said, "Yeah, I still need to kill the kid." Though. Like, hold on, wait, what? I, like, I thought what? I thought we was coming to like a compromise. Like, but you know what? One thing I didn't understand is like, why didn't he let? Why didn't he let them uh, let them take Riri to Wakanda and just say, "Yeah, you just can't leave Wakanda anymore." Bro, he he said, "I ain't taking no chances." <laughs> the shit Which, I mean, I understood, <laughs> but at the same time, you trying to make these people your ally. Lie, but then you like not trying to compromise at all. I was like, let let them take Riri and just keep him captive. Like, so how man. messed up is it though that the suit that he put her in so he could show her the city was was the same suit that he killed both them other people in? Yeah, yeah, yeah that. I thought about that. I was like, I wonder if in that suit because like I know he didn't like because he like you said you know he killed them brutally. I oh yeah, killed everybody. Yeah, I know he killed them brutally. So, like, did he take time to clean the suit out for somebody to visit? And, like, why was he? To, like, was he was he expecting visitors? Like, what? Keep, keep this in the case. You never know. We might have somebody here. Yeah, you never yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can we, I, I just want to go back to that the fight scene when it was on that humongous battleship that Wakanda's had. That was badass, by the way. But they was in the water, and she looked up, and you just see a bunch of talicans riding in on whales. They like attach that thing like freaking amoebas. Like that that's scary. <laughs> Yo, when they, they like when, <laughs> on that bridge scene though, when they rode the, the whale jump up out of the water and they jump off to the bridge to fight Shuri and Okoye, like right yeah. after the cat the car crash. I was like, yeah, they, they use them, they got they whale Ubers out here. Subway. <laughs> <laughs> they got <laughs> they got whale Ubers like yo how they get that done and I just want to say shout out to I wish I knew the actress's name that played Shuri but she killed this role yeah she killed I like, it I know like, like the windbreaker she had on that purple did not match with the school campus she went on to I was like what are you wearing 
I got better clothes than that. Man, how you gonna oh, hate on that windbreaker? That was classic. Bro. That, huh? wind, that windbreaker was for the time she was in. She was like, "Oh, maybe I should go and blend in with the kids." I said, "Do you see what you're wearing?" <laughs> Ain't no kid wear a windbreaker. Well, I tell you what, boy. When she became the Black Panther, you know, first she had an afro. The next thing you know, she jumps down. Helmet comes off her head, braided tight, look great. Braids look fresh, good. I was fresh like, boy, rose. Fresh somebody got. Rose. Somebody got down, boy. Somebody did her up quick. Boy, you notice they put the cornrows on the iron heart suit. Oh, did they? I didn't notice that. Yeah, I didn't notice that either. Yeah. Look that up. I'm looking the cornrows on the suit. So who's gonna bring up the ending? I was about to do that too. I like uh how they brought his son back. Like you could, she was like, "Oh yeah, I got a little surprise for you." I think you're done crying your heart away. And the little cat said, "Oh, that is Bozeman's son." Oh shit! Oh, what you what? think? Incredible. Like it's cool because there's there's different things that they can do with the movie now too. But this is the thing I liked about this movie is it was able to pay homage to an amazing person keep the story alive and use aspects of marvel comics to create new stories like obviously like camden said they changed namor's background almost 100 percent for this movie and it worked but also we never know anything about no other child from t'challa like the only child that we know is from a different earth with storm storm yeah but this is different. Yeah. So yep. my question to you is the end credit that said that Black Panther will return. Do you think that's going to be its own standalone movie? Or do you think that's tied in with all the other Marvel movies? That I think Shuri's going to return as Black Panther. And then she's going to hand it over to T'Challa to Jr. And I think see, I wonder is going to be a part of the was it Avengers West Coast. But see, like I wonder if they're going to somehow, some way, incorporate some time traveling type stuff with Kane the Conqueror and have a, a grown version of this new T'Challa to where because there I mean Black Panther was slated for three movies. Yeah. So I wonder if they're going to do something like that to time to time shit like do a time skip. We're yeah. gonna do an anime only, time skip. <laughs> but that was only because Chadman was alive, right? So would that not change because he's gone now? I mean, so did you totally change you, you did a good job Paint doing a quick change of the story because all of he's not there anymore. But you and I understand oh. that she'll be there for the other ones. But with so you the think, success so, of this one, I'm telling you, they're going. There's going to be a third one. Like, you, you, say, you, it would be dumb for 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 Marvel not to do anything else with Black Panther because he's too big character is well out. beloved now. Yeah, he's too big out for this. I mean, he's too Back big, they, but now is he? Is he not? Is it still not big because they still had Chadman in the movie itself to still kind of do the offset? If he, because remember, if he wasn't there in so much as far as the tribute, would it have so much more of that much more of an impact? Yeah, but the trailers as didn't lead as, to you knowing about the tribute as much. But like, you, but you, but you, but you knew that. I mean, yeah, but you knew there was going to be some. They had to throw some kind of tribute in there, and they did a good job. Time, of, I, I don't think people were going because of the tribute. I think people were going because they wanted to see how this story was. Con- you. Like all the interviews correct. with the cast, correct. I knew there was going to be a tribute, but I didn't know the depths that they were going to go to make it feel like he was part of the movie and that it was really his inspiration carrying on in this yeah. movie. And right. that's, and that's, and, and, and that's, name. Yeah. And that's what you're saying. You think people went to the movie because they want to see how the new Black Panther would be. And and I, I agree with that too. But now if the, are they enjoyed it more because of how much trippy was in it? You felt like the Black Panther was having both of them present was still there. No, if his present wasn't, was if his present wasn't as there as much as it was, would the movie still have the same effect as the hit? If you didn't put him as much as you did, I mean, remember you showed him like five different times in like a long scene. If you had cut that to maybe one, would it still have that same impact as it did now? Because you had the emotional roller coaster up and down. You had the fight scene. You had the you miss him. You see why he's empowered. You well, see... no, because I think either way, it still would have worked. 
Because like Adrian said before, even if Chadwick wasn't actually dead and they were just writing him out of the series, the movie still would have hit the same. I mean, it might not have been as much emotion as far as like what we felt, but the actual movie, the roller coaster, the Chalodyne, uh, them trying to reassure themselves, then Namor and them trying to figure out what to do with Namor, then the mom dies, and then them trying to And that leans about heavy that. on Shuri's character. Shuri's character really carried a lot of yeah. weight in the movie. And with and Shuri taking say, the mantle. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. That's why I say they're go- they're they're gonna use Black Panther some more. I'm not saying there's gonna be another standalone movie, but they're gonna use Shuri and, some more. And, and, th- and that's what I mean. I guess I mean by as far as this is, do you feel like it's gonna be a standalone movie itself? Like when they say if it's gonna come back, it, I understand she'll be back as far as I mean the other movies. But I'm saying as far as a standalone movie, I don't see there will be one. I mean they could. I mean they There'll set it up for one. That's why that's why they had the alliance at the end. It could be another movie where they have to fight against uh, Doctor Doom. That'd be how Doctor Doom ends up in a part of the the stuff. You know what I would really like? I would really like for them to do like a six-part Wakanda series on Disney Plus and use that as a filler between Wakanda Forever and the next Black Panther movie. Like give us give us time to deal with the transition in a different way and then set up the new movie. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I guess I guess I won't have my answer until if they make a third standalone movie. I guess if if the third standalone movie doesn't do as well, you know, that will answer my question now. As far as that, it only did just as well as it did because it was a lot of tabby bullshit Dash, I, still in it. Well, Dash, I would say it would depend on if they do a time skip, if they somehow grow up young T'Challa. You can have the whole third movie be about him, which and him coming in to his role as the new king of Wakanda and taking on the new mantle and everything and new threats and stuff. Because, like I said, with Kang Dynasty and the Secret Wars and stuff, I mean, this is going to play major implications in changing what's about to happen in Marvel because of War World and especially which, if Doctor Doom comes in. Which I would say the the next time we see. Like young T'Challa, it probably won't be till after phase six. Like if Black Panther is in uh, uh yeah. War World, World, War World, it's gonna be Shuri. It's not gonna be God. Cliffhanger. Classic. 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 Take your time. Oh, Dragon Ball. Ball. <laughs> Does Keston get out of his point? Or does he fall to victim of the, the yeah. lag? Action League now. <laughs> uh, you know, it feels good. But I'll tell you something about Doctor Doom, though, because there is a, a storyline in Marvel Comics where Doctor Doom teams up with Namor because Namor is one of the only people that's on the surface world that he respects. So obviously, if they bring in Doctor Doom next, this sets up so much stuff for mutants and everybody. Oh yeah, Uh-oh. it's gonna be it's gonna be serious. Oh, they need to host now. I don't know Adrian what to do. I'm scared now. <laughs> I've been anything. promoted. I, I lied on my job application, bro. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> this like like if people catch it up on him. That's how I was getting pushed next. God, do and then there was three. <laughs> oh, oh, he's back, bro. I don't know what is going on. Like Just let you know, I got promoted and fired all in like twelve <laughs> seconds, bro. I'm glad you back. <laughs> that was that was a Braylon situation right there, bro. I don't know what is going on with my internet. It has never acted up this bad. I'm calling <laughs> AT and T tomorrow. These these mugs got me messed up. Oh. So you messed up that he was an AT. Yep, there it is. Yeah, you mm. I ain't never been go, this bad because I got the fiber. Go feed that hamster. <laughs> well, all of these bad now, bro. Wait Say until what? they get you. It's bad now. Mm. He, 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 I got you, bitch. <laughs> got you, bitch. Well, Char, I'm not here, so I'm stuck with them, unfortunately. Uh, what is five finger stick to the face? Wow. 
I'm gonna turn Dash's screen off. We gonna finish it by ourselves. <laughs> what kind of forever? <laughs> really? Yep. You look me off. I might as well see my boss. Say what? It's so hard that, that, that. to say goodbye. I mean, I mean, how? To yesterday. <laughs> And we said to be together. Oh, he really going. He he really going. This is not the RB. Where you get that pillow from? Oh Lord. <laughs> Kesson, did you freeze again? He did. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, in this podcast, this is terrible. People gonna be watching oh, this. We was, gonna gonna, like, we was doing so good on? too, bro. We were. We, do we were. We, we we had a run. <laughs> we had a run. We gonna have I to get it all here, man. I give up. Yeah. You got anything else y'all want to add? Nope. Uh, that I'm was look good. over my list one more time. Make sure Go I the movie. movie. <laughs> so great. Definitely. It going. was a great movie. Definitely go the check next, it out. On the next podcast, it will only be Camden and Keston. Yep, you heard it here first. <sighs> These niggas. <laughs> Got one light skin, one dark skin. Y'all can handle it. Yeah, mm-hmm. y'all be all right. Y'all the One Piece heads anyways. Y'all going to be making fun Dash. of me and Dash for not knowing everything y'all know about One Piece with me and Dash only seeing this movie. It's just going to be a slaughter. You don't need us for that. <laughs> it is always not- can't go, always- we ain't paying to be comic need- relief. You always do not it is need rating. to see the series for this movie. That's why I keep telling y'all, you don't need to see the series for this movie. But will you be using your 8, 9, 1200 episodes worth of knowledge during I, this? I, you, of I don't course you will. Hundred episodes worth of knowledge. I, if I was going to use it against you, I'd use it against you during the podcast. You even do it if now. It's, it's facts. It's he just, said it here first. No, I said even if it's just me and Cam, I'm still going to talk shit about y'all. Well, I hope you use that shit That's with better fine. internet. Say what? I said, I hope you use that shit with better internet. Look, you just got you just got into the good internet game. Don't act like you all high and mighty. Oh, I am. Oh, hey, I hey, am. Cam, Cam, shit. Cam, hold up. Put a background Don't up. You do Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Put a background Don't up. Don't you do it. Put I a background you. up. That's because of my computer. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, y'all go check out the movie. Rob Kessie. This I'm robbing this man. <laughs> y'all go check out the movie. Wakanda forever. Wakanda Lord, forever. Man, man, okay. y'all. Rest in peace, chat with Bozeman. Rest, Rest in peace, brother. Fly high, brother. Fly high, brother. We out before Answer I get kicked off this shit again. <laughs> Water balloons. <laughs> <laughs> and fuck Dad for, for not watching One Piece. That's it. We'll be out. I'm Keston. I'm Camden. I'm Adrian. And I'm Dash. And we out.